Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, ev everyone. Every single one of you guys. Thank y'all so much for being here. He looks amazing. Thank you, sis. Yes, Balance Dragon. <laughs> anyway, family, happy Saturday. Happy Saturn day. I hope everybody's having an amazing day thus far. Okay, thank you to everybody who is booking, who's donating, keeping the lights on, keeping your sis going, keeping me busy, keeping me flowing. Thank you so much. If you're looking to book, all of that information is in the link tree in the bio. And if you're looking to donate, you can find it right here or it'll be posted um, on the video after I upload it. Join, uh, you can subscribe to the channel, get daily guidance from your sis, okay? Keep you in your A game. Hey, sis. Yeah, I was just watching your reading. On point as usual. <laughs> I love it. Hey, Zoe, Nina, what's going on? So, um, yeah, we're gonna, before we hop into this, before we hop into this, now, y'all was here the last live, right? Y'all remember me talking about that hush money? Y'all remember me crying about the domestic violence that I was going through and, you know, that I've been through and stuff like that? And then next thing you know, Puffy come out with, they, they come out with, 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 with I'm, I'm still calling him Puffy, with Diddy, um, <laughs> With Diddy video, with him hitting on Cassie and stuff like that. Do y'all remember? I was like, wait, cause I'm like, what is this hush money? He paid that hotel, the international, 50K for that video. In a Keep it on a G3, I'm tapping into the energy. I didn't know nothing about that, okay? I'm telling you, I'm, you know, I'm over here crying about my ass, <laughs> what I've been through. Happy that I survived, not understanding that that's how Cassie felt. When, when I saw the video, I said, Cassie. Me too, sis. Me too. You made it. <laughs> Thank you. But it's just so crazy how I was picking up on it. <laughs> I'm like, what is this hush money about? So we tapped in, G3. Understand. I'm tapped in. I don't care what nobody's talking about. You know what I'm saying? There's haters out here. They don't want me to be who I am. They want... They want what I'm talking about to be BS. You know what I'm saying? They want to paint me like I'm crazy and stuff like that, but the energy speak for itself. I'm just, I'm just reading it. <laughs> I started saying unofficial girl immediately. Yo. <sighs> what is this? TikTok. It's TikTok for all of them. It's just, I was in here and I'm, and I'm, when it happened, I was thinking about it. I'm like, yo, I'm really, cause you know, things like that, that it kind of reminds you like you are, this is really what you do. And I was like, yo, I'm really tapping to the energy. Like I'm in the energy. <laughs> oh man. So I feel like, yo, it's a lot. It's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. Time is up for them. You know what I'm saying? They they walked around. They've been big and bad, vicious people.
people for too long in the dark while everybody's praising them. That's like a slap in God, you know, in the most high face. That's a slap in mother face, a slap in father face. It's like these people be like wanting the love of individuals in the forefront, but behind closed doors being just really terrible, disturbed individuals. Dark and evil and abusive. They get some type of power and they lose their mind. It's so many of them like that, G3. This is what you got to understand. It's so many of them like that. And they're all going to be exposed. Enough is enough. You, it's like they're pulling on the hearts of innocent people. They're pulling on the minds and the souls and the energy of innocent people. Innocent, they don't know what's going on. They just loving them, giving them all their love and appreciation. And, oh, they're so amazing and they this and they that. And behind closed doors, they're evil and demonic and devilish. What? Come on now. No, 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 no. That's not how it's going to work. Justice is going to be served here. It's too many innocent people that is wrapped up with dark individuals that don't even know it's too many individuals that's wrapped up and tangled to and tied in with dark demonic nasty no no love in their heart type people and it's just and it's just, uh, what is this it's 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 sickening it's sickening they all gonna take a seat i love me i used to love me some td jakes and then you know you know i ain't gonna whatever but he taking a seat because it's enough, it's enough. And believe you me, yo Jay-Z gonna take a seat. Every one of them, they gonna take a seat. They gonna have to. Because it's time for things to change. These gatekeepers and stuff like that, it's time for them to change the black boule. It's time, it's bye, bye. What you thought? What you thought? You was gonna keep our people? What is wrong with you? I'm telling you, you niggas is sick. <laughs> sick of y'all, I'm so sick of y'all. I'm so sick of them. I'm so sick of them. Walking around lying to the people. Walking around, got people. It's, it's so many people that's trapped. One thing mother told me, she said, she said, baby, <laughs> you gonna set the captives free. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. I'm gonna take as many people to heaven with me as possible. I mean, if you wanna go. Because <laughs> I ain't gonna force you to do nothing. <laughs> you can believe what you wanna believe. All right? <laughs> My, yo, oh, your skin is glowing. Your skin is glowing, sis. Yeah. Because I've stopped trying to tell people, like, you know, I, I, I released a lot of things. <laughs> Whew, you can do what you want. <laughs> but if you want to go to heaven, you're going to have to release hell. See, the thing about it is, it's a lot of these people that are trapped in hell that think that they're in heaven. I don't listen. This is what I'm picking up on here. It's a lot of people that are trapped in hell that think that they're experiencing heaven. And that is the illusion. And it's time for the truth to come out. But you know why the truth can't come out? Because you got these power, these people in high positions that got power that don't need to be there, that need the lie to keep going. So if you need the lie to keep going, you about to take a seat. If you need the lie to keep going to survive, you about to take a seat. Because God darn it, things are changing. Enough is enough. Everybody turn around. Well, why God is allowing this? Well, why God is allowing that? Well, why God, God blame with everything on God? And it's these nasty, disturbed people that y'all love so much. It's those people. And don't get it twisted. It's in every industry. It's in every industry. God is in every last industry. <laughs> If you need the lie to keep going, to survive, you will be set down. Whether you like voluntarily or involuntarily. How, you know, however you want to go, you're going to go. Because you're a problem here. If you can abuse women, you can abuse children. You can abuse children, you can abuse animals. You can abuse everything. They have the spirit of God and the spirit of the Lord and, and, the, and, 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 and the Kundalini activated all up in it. You, 
You'll destroy everything. And they've been destroying people. You know how many people are destroyed are in and are entrapped in that industry? Ooh, boy, let me tell you something, G3. Growing up, my father used to be, and you know, he's still that nigga. <laughs> but he used to be rock, riding with, like, rocking with, the, like, the, the uh, what was it called, the Rough Riders. DMX and them. DMX and my dogs, but uh, my rhyme all night. Yeah. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Up in here, I had so many rough, I had so much rough ride again, it was ridiculous. Okay, you would have thought, okay, I was the second lady, okay, after Eve. <laughs> Cause I used to love me some Eve too. But anyway, so I remember, I don't know, my mother and I, I remember, the, oh, you you around these people. You know, Jasper got talent, you know, she a singer. You know what I'm saying? You should be, she should be out here. You should be putting out there with the people. My father was like, hell no. And I was mad. And it's like, now I understand. Oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you. Keep me away from these monsters. They're monsters. He said, hell no. <laughs> now, I waited until I got a little bit older and, you know, didn't put me in position with certain people and stuff like that. But <laughs> he was letting me know that this industry was crazy. And now, you know, and it's so funny. We don't know, like growing up and stuff like that. I I was sitting here and I was thinking about how, like, you know, these these people in the church and stuff like that. I remember it was one video of Juanita Bynum. She had a big behind altar in a house and all this other stuff. And you know, young, we don't know what this stuff is. <laughs> I never, I never, I didn't know what that stuff was. So these people had some type of knowledge of magic and energy manipulation and they didn't tell us nothing so we go to church we just it's like we was just so and I put and I say we because I I know it was a bunch of us that did not know we was in church we were born under the pew and we did not understand or know what was really happening in there until now until 2020 came through and, 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 and everything was like revealed. And I know other people woke, woke up before that. 2020 was my time. I know other people woke up before that. So I'm, I'm not saying like 2020, but after, but y'all see after 2020, like things was like, ooh, things didn't change. I mean, things changed. They didn't change back. Cause now it's too much truth on the scene. And we are in a, it's like, we're in this position right now where you can, it's like you can continue with the lie or you can go towards the truth and you will not be persecuted. This is a time that we're in right now. You know what I'm saying? To where you can, you can either, you can deal with the lie. I mean, you, you'll be persecuted being that the people that you are walking away from that are still dealing with the lie, those people will persecute you. But it's too many people on the other side that will welcome you. That the persecution wouldn't even, it's like, who, who, who cares if, be, like what? It's, it's, I'm, I'm welcome with too much love on this side to worry about the persecution that these people are trying to put, put on me or put me through. With, and, and I know it's a lie. So, so it's like people will persecute you if you if you let them. But we're in an energy right now where you can leave the lie and come towards the truth. And there will and there is no there, there's no persecution. There is open arms for you. See, that was the whole point of Christ. That was the whole point, right? Him going up the, the mount of uh, the walk of uh, what is it? The the hill of Golgotha, whatever, the, 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 the Mount of Golgotha, walking up there, getting beat, all of that. Brutalized and everything, nails in his hands. And it was like, and, and, and we all say, Jesus died for us so we don't have to die. We all say that, right? And then they turned around. <laughs> These mother effers, crazy. So, basically, a bunch of people went through some type of walk up the Mount of Golgotha. You got the nails in, you did some type of cross work. You got the nails in your hands. Okay. You went to hell. You fought the devil and you rose again with all power now in your hands. You got some type of knowledge. You got the wisdom. So now your fellow brother 
don't have to get persecuted. They don't have to take that walk up Golgotha or be persecuted with the, the nails in their hands by these, by these people that don't want to believe and stuff like that. You have created a way for them. That's what the whole point of Jesus was about. That's what, that's what it's talking about. Oh, you don't got to die. Like, you, you don't got to go through what he went through. Because now you understand this is, we're not going, we're not dealing with the lie no more. I, I've made it so that you can be free. And that's like me telling you right now, me giving you some knowledge, me giving you the truth, me telling you, you better stop believing that some type of man gonna crack that sky and get your act in together, get your act in order. It's like, stop, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 giving you the esoteric knowledge, giving you all these hidden, these hidden things, this occult knowledge that they done told you was, a, was scary, was d demonic, you know? But the occult knowledge is what sets you free. That's what Jesus came to give you, occult knowledge. That's what he came to give to you. That's what he came to get. So, so you can expand your mind. That hidden knowledge. That's what a cult means. A cult is just hidden. That's what it means. Hidden. Hidden knowledge. It ain't nothing scary about it. It's hidden. Why is it hidden? The only thing that's scary is the niggas that hit it. Those are the, that's the scary thing about the hidden knowledge. The niggas that hit it. So what you want to do? I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know what you want to. But you can either hold on to a lie or jump on, get, get on board with the truth. <laughs> you can either hold on to karmic cycles. You can either hold on to low vibrational energies, low vibrational activities. You can either... You know, continue to entertain BS. You could, you could, and that's a beautiful thing. That's why my skin is, is glowing. Cause you can do whatever you want to do. What a, what a, I, I don't got no heaven or hell to put you in. I don't got, I can't do you nothing. I don't even want to do you nothing. You know what I'm saying? Do what you do. I want you to be happy. Shoot. So you can leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want you to do what you do. Because that's what you came here to do. What you do, but how you gonna do? Are you gonna do it? Continue to believe to believe the lies of the boule, or are you gonna are you gonna go on some type of journey and find yourself and find truth and release yourself from the holes and the binds that your that that your grandmother and your great grandmother and your great 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 grandmother stuck in? It's all up to you, though. This ain't the time where grandma, this is not the time. The grandma time and your time is two different times. Jesus didn't return. Then. They didn't have no way to get to the truth. Then. Grandma, grandma didn't have no way to really get to the truth. Too much lies going on. It was, that was, it was, this, they just, they just, he go the truth and he go the lie and they just went like this with it and said, okay, this is what they did. They did. They said, he go the truth, he go the lie. They said, ooh. And this is, this is how grandma and this is how all the ancestors, this is how they lived. Okay? This is how they lived. But see, now we, we at the time where it's like this. Whoop. He go the truth, he go the lie. What you gonna do? Because we're not doing this right now. Now, this, this right here, this time is up. We're separating the real from the fake. So you don't got to go through what grandma went through. So you can change something up. But what you going to do? Now I'm not here to, 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 to turn. Because the thing about it is you can believe what you want to believe. My whole thing is, it's the type of heart that you have. Now, a lot of people, I'm telling you, their beliefs interferes with their decision making. And that's why beliefs are... Okay, I get it. Because you, I don't really, because you know, you don't, you can't push or tell anybody what to believe. But you see, the belief system is what, is what is affecting people's choices and decisions here. This is why the belief system has, it's like, oh, it's, it's, tr it's like treading some type of fine line because you over here, your, be your belief system say that you can attack this person. Up. You effing your life up. You effing up the energy because that you're not here to attack. 
so bad, but now they're getting attacked by shit that they can't see. So what? So how you like that? I bet you don't want to attack nobody no more. <laughs> I bet they don't want to attack nobody no more. They're being attacked by things that they can't see. When your belief system starts to affect your decision making, that's when it's, a, that's when, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's like a fine line. Because one moment the belief system is telling you to love everybody, and then the next moment the belief system is telling you that you can attack that person, or that person, or these person. What? The belief system is, is, is making you degrade other people. The belief system got you calling other people out of their names. You know what I'm saying? Now you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's when me and belief system got a problem. When you can't use common sense. And see what's right from wrong. When the belief system got you not saying what's right from wrong, that's when me and you got issues. You know what I'm saying? That's when me and you got issues. <laughs> Cause you should be able to see what's right from wrong. I don't. It doesn't matter about what you believe. Do you know what's right and what's wrong? Ooh, can we get to parts? I'm hot. Jesus. I need to put my batteries in it. You see, it's. it's Week. Ooh, I'm hot. G3, hold on. I'm hot. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sorry, G3. I just went on a ramp. My bad. We tapping it. We in. We in. We, get, we about to get in. Ooh, hold on. I'm hot. <laughs> coming from oh oh this is where you get hot that g3 so when you channel it and you tapped in fan back here that was such a relief Woo. fan back there it's like fire shut up in my bones <laughs> anyway thank you sir Because we on the same time. You know what I'm saying? We on the same type of time. <laughs> Look, TikTok. TikTok keep coming out here. I keep saying, I saw TikTok. I saw Lost. And something I saw. It was something else that I saw. Oh, the pleader man. <laughs> but they want to. They want. They want to right their wrongs now. Yeah, people always want to right their wrongs when it's too late. Why that? Why is like that? You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, it because that's when people learn the lesson. Normally when it's too late. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody took too long to learn a lesson here. And they want to write their wrongs. They could want somebody could want to write their wrongs with you. Somebody could want to write their wrongs with the most high. And that's what they should be. It should, it's, it should be with that first. It should be with the most high first. It, sh it should be with, with source first. They should, they should want to right their wrongs with themselves first before they try to right their wrongs with you. But that's called common sense. <laughs> and we know that that's not so common. But I don't know how it go. We're going to get deeper. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, sis. I had to find, I had to do something. I had to, I had to take it out. I had to wash it. I was procrastinating for mad long. Me and procrastination are besties. Leave us alone. We're going to get it together. But you see, I, I sit her down when necessary. Procrastination, go sit down. I need to get this hair done. <laughs> because you get on my nerves. Do you see this? Do you see these roots? You know how long I had to deep condition it? Because it was, because I, because I was doing the front over, but I wasn't doing the back over. So the back, <laughs> and you know, when you do, when you have braids or something, when it's too, when it's for too long, it'll have like a knot there. You got to have the conditioner sit on it and. I said, procrastination, you are a problem. But I still love you sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even going to front me. Procrastination be chilling sometimes. I know everybody be like, oh, don't procrastinate. And, but you know what? That's what happens when you learn balance. 
Because sometimes it's going to call for some some things are going to are going to call for procrastination. Some things, not all things. So that's why I'm, I'm not beefing with procrastination because sometimes procrastination is needed. Sometimes you got to slow down real quick. Take a step back. Move too fast, you could have did something one way. Now that you procrastinate a little bit, <laughs> now I'm going to do it like this now. I'm just saying, not all times, G3, it's balance, not all times. Sometimes procrastination is needed. That's why I'm just not beefing with her. I'm not, you know, calling her bad or nothing like that because I be chilling with her sometimes. The energies are my friend. <laughs> the energies became my bestie, for real. That's what, you know, this whole journey of ice, it just, because I was put in isolation. I was removed from everything and everybody. And it was like, I had to be, become friends with the energies. I had to understand them. I had to talk to them, vibe with them, learn them, <laughs> learn me, because that's really what it was about. Um, but, and so that's why I can say, you know, because everybody's going to say, don't procrastinate. But that's, it sound good. Let's keep it a buck here. Right? Let's keep it a buck. Sometimes, not all times. And when you put it like that, people will be like, hmm, you're right. This this is not the time for procrastination. Then you start looking at it a little differently. Like, okay, okay, I might can procrastinate the next time, but not this time. Okay, cool. <laughs> you know? All F should be exposed. Come on, bro. You see it. Okay, you're right. Let me get back to it. Because I'm, I'm telling you, I will be... The cards are necessary. Keep me focused. Okay, somebody wants to write their wrongs. What's going on? What's happening here? Pandora's box. Ha! 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 Mind invasion. That's if somebody wants to write their wrongs because see Pandora's box. Once you open Pandora's box, y'all know what they say about that. Once you open Pandora's box, it's a it's a story. Oh, man. What's the story? I cannot feel like I'm going to say this story all wrong. <laughs> I feel like... Hold on. So, so okay. So, I'm going to, like, paraphrase it a little bit. So, it's a... It's a you a good man. Good woman. Your house is for the your house is, is, is a is a is a house for the Lord. You know what I'm saying? You righteous, it's, it's good things. You are you you giving Job in your house. There we go. Thank you, mother. Okay. You giving Job in your house. Right? House is good. House is in order. One of the gods, I think it was Zeus that gave somebody <laughs> them Greek gods was bugging. Okay. <laughs> You know, killing for all this people with everybody. They was bugging. But anyway, because I feel like this is a Greek story, but I'm, I'm, I know that I'm messing it up. It's one of the, it's one of the from Greek mythology, but I know I'm, I'm ruining it, but I, I see the, the overall point of the story here with this Pandora's box. I'm seeing everything is good, perfect. It's, it's pure, right? So, somebody didn't like this. They didn't like that everything around you was good. Everything around you was peaceful. It was on the up and up, okay? They didn't like that you were on the up. And even if everything wasn't around you was in order, it, within you, you was at peace. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't allowing things to stress you. You was too blessed to be stressed, okay? So you wasn't allowing the, the things around you to mess you with everything. Every, you was in order. Somebody got mad. So they said, okay. I'm going to put all the evilness of the world into this box. Okay? And I'm going to send this box over. How did he do it? I, I feel like I messed up the story, but he gave this, he put a, a bunch of darkness, all of the darkness in the world into, into this box, right? And he gave it to this girl, Pandora. I think her name was Pandora. And then, because it was some type of beef that Zeus had with somebody on earth. But he was too good for anything to, like, he was good. You know what I'm saying? So he couldn't really do nothing. So he's like, okay, I'm going to send a girl over there with all of this lustiness, all of this crazy, you know, all of this craziness in her. I'm going to send her to his house. Okay? And I'm going to tell her, I'm going to give her this box, and I'm going to say, listen, don't open, um, 
wow, uh, I'm, I'm effing it up. But anyway, don't go, don't open this box. Okay, whatever you do, he sent her to earth and he said, don't open the box. So look at the house as like earth. Everything was going good in earth. Then he sent Pandora there with this box. Okay. And he told her not to open it. <laughs> so she went there. She found, she went to this land. I don't know. She went to this land with a, a bunch of men and she married this one guy. and Everything was good. But then she just needed to open this box. Because it's like, okay, why did you give me a box? And why you tell me I can't open this box? And once she opened the box, all hell broke loose. Basically. Okay. <laughs> it's like, so I feel like somebody here. Open some type of box here, and all hell broke loose. Everything was going good in their life. This Pandora's box can be whatever darkness that somebody decided they wanted to get themselves into. This now they can't stop thinking about it. This is why they want to right their wrongs because their mind they can't get something off of their mind. The fact that they went into Pandora's box. What is what is this? What, what movie is it? I've seen a movie too. Mon Twa. Y'all remember Twa? Now that was before BET was playing Bad Boy, um, Baby Boy all day. Twa was up there. Okay. Twa one, twa two. Y'all remember that? <laughs> if I, am I saying it right? Twa or twa or something like that. Y'all remember that movie? <laughs> and they was and they went into Pan, they went to Pandora's box. Her life was good. Well, her life wasn't really good because her, that movie was crazy. Now that I think about it, y'all remember that movie? <laughs> the husband hired the the, the the man to get the wife to go into Pandora's box. Because he wanted the wife inheritance. Somebody wanted your inheritance. This is, thank you, mother. I love y'all so much. Somebody wanted your inheritance. And so this is why they opened, they, they opened Pandora's box. They may, somebody could have even tried to get you wrapped up into something here. So they can have a piece of your inheritance. Or they can have your inheritance. They wanted the whole thing. That's greedy, right? How you marrying? How you marrying her and then want her whole thing? And what was his name? He was on the Younger the Restless, and I didn't really like him up there either. I forgot his name. <laughs> he was on. He was in the. Yeah, he was in the stories. I forgot his name though. But yeah, how you want to come into somebody's life and want their whole thing? And, like you want to get rid of them <laughs> and take what they family left work hard for and left for her this is what's happening here this is the story g3 somebody tried to come into your life and take all of what was yours and i feel like somebody they went to the darkest of the darkest places in their mind to figure out how to do this See, they couldn't just peek in Pandora's box. They couldn't, she couldn't just peek in it. She had to open that whole thing. That's the, that's, that's, uh, the instructions of the door. Because people, you, you, once you open Pandora's box, it ain't no... You straddling both fences. See, you're going to get lost in Pandora's box. You going your life, it's like it's going to F everything up. It's going to turn everything around. So this is why there's rules to the door. Once you touch that knob and once you open it, it's open. It's not no, oh, you open, you peeked it, peeked inside. I just got a little peek. No, no. See, but I feel like that writing might be in, in um, invisible ink. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like the warnings. It's in some type of invisible ink. You need the right the light. You know how like when what's that like when they're trying to see if there was any blood splatter or something? Oh, it was written in blood. <laughs> so I'm sorry, G3. Something is written in blood. Something is written. You gotta have, you gotta be able to read the blood or something like that. You got to be able to see it. Okay. When you get to a door, you see that writing on the door? Everybody don't got the, the right light. It's a certain type of light. Anyway, somebody opened Pandora's box. Trying to take what's yours. 
So they didn't want a piece of it. They wanted everything. Man. And then they wanted to kill you. Jeez. Mm -mm -mm. They wanted to unalive you. I'm sorry. Because I don't know. There's certain words that they don't be liking on Instagram and IG. Well, Instagram and IG too. Instagram and, and Facebook. I mean, not Facebook. I'm, oh, I need to talk online on Facebook again. YouTube. <laughs> What else is happening here? Yep, somebody opened Pandora's box. <laughs> Financial support, and they got somebody pregnant. Now they gotta pay. Somebody was lusty here. Somebody got somebody pregnant. Mm-hmm. Now they gotta pay some type of child support. Or they could've opened Pandora's box and got married to somebody in this lusty energy. Now they gotta pay some type of, oh no, but child support here. Look, children at the bottom of the deck. It's child support. Thank you, mother. Somebody is somebody opened Pandora's box and got somebody pregnant and got Pandora's behind pregnant. It's like, <laughs> oh man, somebody messed up. Somebody and I don't, I don't, and I don't mean like somebody messed up. Well, somebody did mess up, but I feel like that's how they feel. Like I done messed up. Like how that that whole movement I just did. I feel like that was the. Like this right here, messed up. Somebody messed up. That's the energy that somebody's in. They messed up because they done got somebody pregnant. Or now they got to pay back stuff. See, see, that's the thing. Even these people in power, money, money is what makes these people powerful. I was watching a couple of videos last night about Diddy and all this other stuff, you know. And it was one video where, you know, because... Cassie was not his first victim. <laughs> you know, who was Kim before was, it was, you know, it was just terrible things and that, that, you know, was coming out and we all knew that Kim was off. You know what I'm saying? That she, she had no pneumonia and stuff or whatever they were trying to say. But it's like now things are like, before it'll be like, ah, I don't know. Now it was like, no, he did that. What's what he say? I don't know what that, but he did it. I don't know. Whatever they say he did, he did it. <laughs> So Kim, at one point when he was breaking Kim, because that's what these men do. These men in power, they want to break you. <laughs> ain't no, ain't no alive that can make me lose my mind. Every that done try, still be crying on my line. <laughs> I wish a nigga would think they could break me. You ain't breaking nothing. Okay, you gonna break your face, you gonna break your fingers, and you gonna get broken trying to break me. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> that's just, let's just start there. But men. Powerful men. And I'm only talking about this because of Diddy. And, and because of, it's a bunch of... It's powerful women. It's, women do the same thing. I ain't even going to do that. I ain't even going to do it. It's all... It's, it's power... These people that are in power that are low vibration. That are still in that demonic energy. That fiends and needs money and power to feel like something in somebody. They want to break you. So they was, he was in this process of breaking Ken. You know what I'm saying? And I guess what's what's what was um her first her, her first man name? His his fine behind. Pretty so. Pretty Ricky's what they called him. No. <laughs> um what what? Chris, his name was Chris something, right? But y'all know the um Hey, I'll be. Yeah, I'll be sure. <laughs> it's far behind. But anyway, let me tell you this. They said that Al B, but like during that during that time when he was breaking Kim, he she he called Kim into the room and Al B was on, on his knees sucking pity up uh, pity. P Diddy. Diddy. <laughs> and then he said, he looked her straight in the eye, he said, Yeah, it's called power. Man, man. Oof. Because imagine that. Your faith your first baby daddy and this nigga that that's controlling trying to ruin like trying to really like like what? And I was 
listening to another female talk about this and you know it's a lot of females that are just they're so oh, weighed down they don't love themselves put up with anything and let me tell you how it's a phase it's a journey it's a part okay that, that can be a part of the journey everybody doesn't have that that story but a lot of women do a lot more than you could imagine okay where they are way down they are broken they have low self-esteem they don't love themselves no, they feel, they don't feel, and don't get it twisted. I know men do, because I, I, cause there's men here too, and I love you guys, so I just, I know you guys too. But it's something about a weak woman and a man with money. That's a terrible, terrible combination. It's a recipe for disaster. A weak woman and a man with money. We gotta stop calling men with money powerful. We gotta stop making men with money feel like they like they all of that. Or like they like like they pop. Cause that's what we do. We 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 make these men feel like, yeah, you the man because you got money, but it's a lot of goofies with a check, bro. Women will put up with anything because of money sometimes. Just so they can be taken care of. And it's been like this for centuries. Now that now women, we have we can we have a lot more freedom to do things now. We can get jobs, we can take care of ourselves, we can do a lot of things now by ourselves. But before it wasn't like that, right? The man was he took care like he was he knew how to work the bills and he knew how to do this stuff. And women didn't have that. We didn't have that knowledge. So a lot of women were taken advantage of by men. And this is this is this has been going on for centuries. And that's because we've been living in a world where we think that money is power. We live in a world where we think that, you know, having a lot of money is this true wealth or something. It's like we, I don't know, I don't know. But as women, we need to do better. And just know that so we can stop. Uh, but I, like I said, I feel like it's a part of the journey. I feel like everybody got to go through those weak moments, but you're not supposed to stay there. And there's a lot of people that get stuck there. Oh, nobody loves me. Oh, um, nobody cares about me. I was there. I was there. Okay. Always in my emotions and my feelings, hard on my sleeve, always, you know, sad, always writing some type of love, a broke, uh, a sad love poem, a sad love song, always, <laughs> always. But then you, you, you grow. You can't stay there. I feel like it's a masculine energy that got caught up with a, a weak woman here. And I feel like it's a weak woman that got caught up with a weak man. Pandora's box ruined some, somebody's life. Because now they can't go where they want to go because they got to, because look, Archangel Michael, they can't. Somebody want to right their wrongs, but they got to pay their child support. That's what they need to be worried about. Child support. Um, I'm not going to say that. Because you can write your, your wrongs and still pay your child support. It really is about what you want to do here, G3. But Archangel Michael is here. Love a fee. Archangel Michael is blocking somebody from you because they're going to write their wrongs to just wrong you again. This is what I'm hearing. Somebody wants to come into your energy to write their wrongs just to wrong you again. And that's what happens when you open Pandora's box. Once you open Pandora's box, you got to blow it up. You gotta blow it up. You can't, you can't pack it away. You can't say, okay, Pandora's box. Put you to the side. We had a good time. I'm mature and I'm growing now, and I'm not doing that anymore. You know, and now I'm living a, a pure, righteous life. No. Making wise decisions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's gonna be one of them nights. It's gonna be one night when you be like. 
mean, I was good for like a whole month, to be honest. I mean, I can, what's, what's a little peek in Pandora's box? The whole month I was pure, okay? What is that box at? Now you looking for the box. Now, nah, once you open Pandora's box, you want to get rid of it? You got to, you got to get rid of it. You got to blow it up. It's, it's some, it's some magic here with, with, with the candles. You can't even throw the candles out in your own house. You can't throw them out in, around, even around your vicinity. You got to take it to a whole nother, a whole nother town or a whole nother place to throw things out. It's like, it's like, this is, that's how, so when I say that, don't, don't think I'm just talking S. Like, no, when you open Pandora's box, when you go and you start dealing in the, when you start dealing with the devil and demonic, because somebody was doing something very demonic here or just very lusty. Oh, orgies. Somebody is, 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 is into orgies and stuff like that. And this is why Archangel Michael is, 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 is blocking somebody because I feel like somebody is still bad. They're still in some type of love affair. Why is somebody thinking about you and they have not they got like, if somebody is still having some type of love affair or something like that, still got things going on, they shouldn't be thinking about you. Please don't be thinking about me if you laid up with somebody else. Leave me out of it. Okay? <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with that. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Keep that over there. I just got an attitude. You want to know why? Because... People think that S is cute. Like they think that, oh, I don't, this is, oh, this person want me, oh, that person want me. That, and that's what the girl, the girl was saying in the video. Oh, that talking to all these different females and in my face and blah, blah, blah. It's like somebody, and she, the girl was saying that she always getting text messages like, oh, leave so-and-so alone. That's my, you're not the only one. He he was just doing this to me last night and blah, blah, blah. It's like somebody liked that, like that drama. Like somebody, what, oh, somebody thought that you was going to be caught up in some type of love and hip hop drama. <laughs> like somebody thought your name was going to be like, you, like, okay, you Masika. Okay, you, you did. It's like somebody thought that you was going, you was going to be, to fall in line with some love and hip hop role. No. Mm mm. This is somebody still dealing with somebody. And this is why they can't. They, but they still dealing with them because they got them pregnant. Thank you, mother. Somebody, they can't get rid of something here. Somebody, so something that they, what, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, right? Except for herpes. That come back with you. That's what it said. That's what the thing said. <laughs> okay. That's what the saying said. Go, go, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, except for herpes. What happens in Pandora's box stays in Pandora's box, except for herpes. Okay? So somebody came out of Pandora's box with, with babies and STDs and stuff. <sighs> somebody came out of Pandora's box with babies and, and, and STDs. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay? And that's why Archangel Michael said, wait, 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 wait. Not my divine feminine, not my divine masculine. You will not bring babies and herpes, uh, <laughs> babies and STDs over there to them. You will not do it, okay? You will not do that. Not me, right. <laughs> Look, single and lost. Current status available. Your current status is available here. And somebody feels lost without you. Can't help myself. How does it feel? Jezebel's box. Exactly. <laughs> this masculine, they lost their divine feminine. Because they cause I feel like somebody is single now. Maybe they're single, but they still gotta they still got ties to this love affair because of this baby. So 
So if somebody is currently single and available and they want to come towards you, they want to right their wrongs, they want to apologize for ghosting the divine feminine or blocking or cutting off the divine. I feel like somebody cut you off, somebody blocked you, somebody ghosted you for Pandora's box. Could you imagine? Somebody walk right out. Feels like God just walked right out of heaven. Yep. Feels like God just damn it throw my life away. Feels like I'm the child that's lost at seven. Don't know what to do. Feel like under. Yeah, somebody feel like they just walked right out of heaven. Raggedy. <laughs> yeah. Already forgiven. Forgive yourself. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Somebody lost their divine feminine. Oh, divine feminine, you moved out. You moving locations. Okay. You changing some type of physical. You could have bought a new house or moved or something like that. You and your children. Somebody wants to come back. They really feel like they, they lost their divine feminine. They lost their angel. They lost their male or female. But look at them. It's like somebody is still poisoned. They got toxic, unhealthy behaviors. Ugh. Boom. And they burning. What are we talking about here? Can we, I don't. <laughs> because that's annoying. I'm not gonna read dumb energy anymore. Because that's a, why is somebody sitting there thinking about you all day when they need to be trying to figure out how to get their life together? <laughs> somebody want to right their wrongs with you when they need to be right their wrongs with themselves and God and the Most High and Mother and Father. They answer this, however it goes. Because Archangel Michael said, no, they cannot, you cannot go to this divine feminine. Somebody cannot, once somebody, once they decided to open Pandora's box, if somebody wants to come back to you, male or female, if somebody wants to be in your energy, they got to blow up Pandora's box. Pandora's, I feel like something about this person is still, they still got some type of toxicity attached to them. And I don't know what that is. But I'm tired of that energy. Gut feeling. <sighs> they said we don't care. <laughs> hmm. It's like Florida water and sage is to clear the energy that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> I did that and it was like, no, this is the energy that's here. <laughs> like, <laughs> mm. like, how do you want to tell us? How do you want? How do you want to tell the energy what to say? Right? Cause I'm tired. Of, like, come on. <laughs> like. <laughs> There's no com there's no communication, but you know that somebody's coming back to you. Somebody's coming back to say something to you. Yep. They coming back to say something. And you have a gut feeling. Okay? Yeah, and you you're telling you, you have a gut feeling, some type of magnetic pull, but you know that somebody got some type of skeletons in their closet. They can want to meet up and talk about and talk about this stuff. Yo, y'all are hilarious, and I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Mm -mm. <laughs> G3, I'm telling you, I can't wait to, I can't wait. I can't wait to have friends, friends, I can call them and crack up about what I was about to say, because I was about to say something. <laughs> and it's like, was that y'all or was that me? Either way, I'm not saying that. <sighs> love like fire. Who do you love in reverse? 
and that's the thing. I guess when when I'm reading the energy, I can't be biased, right? I, I can't choose. I can't choose sides, but it's like annoying. Cause somebody, you know, I, I I hate this. I don't like to say somebody really loves you, even though that's how I'm feeling. That's the energy. It's like somebody really loves you, but I feel like if somebody really loves you, they're gonna do what's necessary. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna take the action. <sighs> But somebody is like, cause somebody's dealing with somebody. I feel like somebody opened Pandora's box or whoever they pulled out, whatever rabbit they done pulled out the, the hat when they went in there and opened Pandora's box was somebody who do not want to leave them alone. Male or female. Somebody have an ex that do not want to leave them alone. Somebody that they met in Pandora's box. Somebody that you could have met in Pandora's box, you know? Listen, everybody, you know, some people go in Pandora's box, some people don't. You know what I'm saying? Some people can go in, in Pandora's box and then they run out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, blow it up, blow it up. <laughs> it's like, you know, everybody have different experiences with, with Pandora's box. So we're not going to act like, you know, oh, I'm too good for Pandora's box. Because a lot of people say they're too good for something and turn around and be that. And it's like, don't learn that, don't have to learn that lesson. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we not... I'm not, you know, calling them any, because everybody has to, to really balance themselves out. This is a human experience here. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you can't be tempted. You gotta be, you gotta learn how to not be tempted. But, but in order to learn how to not be tempted, you gotta go through temptation. You gotta be tempted. You gotta fall for the temptation. You gotta fall for certain things in order to, so life is truly about growth. And I feel like I'm talking to me and you because look, I'm mad. No, you should take action. You should, but Life is about growth, and it's and that's and that's facts. Everybody, some people are going to. Some people, got, some people has to learn the hard way, and I feel like somebody here, and that's what it is. G three, somebody feel like they had to learn the hard way, and they, and I feel like they're just in 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 this position where it's like you know, because somebody feels like you are their divine feminine, or you're the you're their divine masculine. Somebody feels like they. It's like, if I, if I lose you, I'm going to know that I lost you. You know, I feel like somebody wants to talk to you. Somebody wants to say something to you, but somebody want to, they don't want to just talk to you. They want to be with you. They want to lay with you. They want to, because I feel like somebody feels very pulled to you. Oh my goodness. You, you pulled somebody out of Pandora's box. Somebody was in Pandora's, somebody was lost in Pandora's box. All right, mother. You see, I sprayed that and I got nicer. It was something going on. It's <laughs> power in the flow of the water. I was balancing something out here. And that's probably because that energy that I started off with. Thank you. But no, I really feel like somebody... Somebody want to apologize. Somebody grew up. And you really pulled somebody, I'm telling you, I feel like how somebody feels about you pulled them out of Pandora's box. And I know some people don't want to hear that. Hello, I, I don't want to hear you. But I feel like somebody, it's not everybody's story. But somebody, because that poison, that toxin, that toxic is still there. I still see that. So, but somebody feels like you really pulled them out of Pandora's box. And whether you be with them or not, got you, mother. Whether you be with this energy or not, they want to tell you. I feel like that. So put that aside. Because now I'm picking up on somebody that was trying to steal something from you. They want to come and talk to you too. They want to right their wrongs too. They feel like if they apologize for trying to take something from you, they'll everything with them. Because that's what it says, right? It's written like that. If there's an issue that you got with your brother or your sister, you go to your brother or your sister, you handle that, you fix it, you work it out, right? But I feel like somebody don't have access to you anymore. So the only person that this, this individual can go to is the most high. And what's really going on here is really between them and the Most High, them and God, them and Mother and Father and the ancestors. It doesn't have nothing to do with you because they were unsuccessful at stealing something from you. So they're, they're, they have to talk to 
because they didn't steal nothing from you. They, they tried. But somebody feels like the karma is going to change for them if they come and say, I tried to steal something from you, but it, it didn't work. This person, you already don't deal with this person or these people or something like that. So it doesn't, whether they tell you, it doesn't, it doesn't change nothing. It's not like they're going to tell you something and you're going to be like, oh, it didn't work. Oh, okay, cool. Per perfect. You want to go get some food? Do you want to get some lunch? <laughs> it's like, no, it's not, it's not like, so them talking to you is not going to change anything in their situation. This is what I'm hearing. They got, they got to really talk to themselves. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm hearing. They got to talk to themselves. G3, because what I'm seeing, I'm seeing a list. Oh. I don't, I don't know what this is. I'm seeing for every, it's like two names. I'm seeing a list. I'm seeing two columns. I'm seeing names. Is it names or something? I don't know what it, what it is, but I'm seeing for every one that they scratch off, something gets a check. But I don't know. This is what, so. I don't know. I don't know what that lifts, what a lift. Maybe somebody's a teacher or somebody's in school or so, because I'm seeing a list, but I'm seeing something getting scratched off and something in a check. Oh, maybe a test here? <laughs> I really don't know what that is. They burned it. Oh, this is this is mad. Oh, this is like. Could they just show me the fire behind him? But look what don't like it's a, pa a piece of paper in there, like in the fire. Like, that's what they just showed me. Something is getting something is being burnt up. psycho ex on their hands or something like that or whoever they dealt with in Pandora's box is bugged out that's all I want to say because somebody is like wanting to set something on fire so you don't tell this ex where you live or where you and your love because maybe you will I don't know how this is going to go but somebody is thinking about burning something down while you and your, while you and somebody is in are in there So somebody could be trying to figure out how to ruin something. So you have somebody that wants to come towards you and right their wrongs. And then there's somebody on the sidelines that's trying to ruin something here. Yeah, I feel like this ex or whoever somebody met in Pandora's box knows that somebody's coming towards you. Or somebody wants to come towards you, whether... For what for whatever reason it is, doesn't it's like it doesn't matter. Somebody knows that they're coming towards you. This person is obsessed. Whoever this person that somebody met in Pandora's box, they are very uh, very emotional. They're very bugged. They're crazy. And I'm picking up on a feminine each energy. It could be a man, but I'm really picking up on a female that is bugged out. That do not want.
you to get with somebody. They don't want you and somebody to get back together. They don't want you and somebody to talk. I feel like your ancestors... I don't know. Somebody is going through something with their ancestors. Somebody got to leave. Somebody has to leave a house or something. So somebody could have... Yeah, they could have dated somebody or started living with somebody that they met in while they was in Pandora's box or something like that. And now they gotta they get put out or they gotta go. The answer is putting somebody out. I feel like I'm talking about a masculine energy here that was in Pandora's box, that that was really a divine being. Now it was people that that are in Pandora's box, but it's some people that are not supposed to be in there. Like they're really not supposed to be in there. And I feel like it was somebody that was it's a masculine energy that was not supposed to be in it. They got and they're coming out of it or they're trying to come out of it so they can come towards you or something like that. But it's somebody here that's obsessed with them, but they're mad. They got to leave. Somebody knows that they're getting kicked out. It's like somebody knows that, oh, it didn't happen yet. Didn't I say somebody is still dealing with the person? So I feel like somebody didn't leave Pandora's box fully yet, but somebody knows that that time is coming. So somebody could be trying to burn somebody before they get out of Pandora's box. Didn't I say somebody's coming out with babies and herpes or something like that? Or babies and some type of STDs? It's like somebody is trying to burn somebody before. Because they know that, that it's over. It's over. Like somebody's leaving Pandora's box. Somebody's leaving that lifestyle, that mindset, that all of that. Somebody's leaving that. They have learned. They have grown. They have suffered enough, I'm hearing. They have uh, experienced enough. They have learned the lessons. I'm hearing um, the God of the second chance. That's an old gospel song. Hezekiah Walker. Back in the day. God, God of second chance. That's what, that's what I just heard. Somebody getting a second chance. And they better thank, and they better thank the I don't know if it's a second chance with you. <laughs> but I feel like it's a second chance to, to life outside of Pandora's box. Or that's what somebody was praying for. Or somebody. Somebody did. I don't know. I don't know what they did. But they got a second chance. This is a... Because Hezekiah, that's a, that's a gospel song. This is a religious person. Somebody who's really deep, who could be deep in religion or they, they grew up in religion or something like that. Because I'm, I'm hearing Tone too. Make me over again. I feel like somebody was really praying to get up out of Pandora's box. And I promise you, I just heard that um, that's what Jay Z and, and Beyonce, they, 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 they're trying to get right with God. <laughs> They in Thailand right now talking to some type of shaman. I don't know what they had. They, somebody trying to get right with themselves. They trying to get, they trying to wash something off of them or something like that. That's why I'm telling you. They trying to get baptized. But not in no... They trying to go to the Jordan. They trying to, they trying to go to the Jordan. But I don't know. That's That really just popped in my head. But And that's not going to work not going to work. The angel said it's not going to work. Because Jay-Z in one of his songs, he says, in order to reach these heights, you're going to need G3. He and that chick over there in, 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 in somewhere with some type of shamans right now trying to get that light. And it needs to be tuned into the live. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, and they probably are. 
No, they they know that they they somewhere. I'm telling you, they just show me they somewhere with somebody. They're trying to get washed. They're trying to get washed off. Mm mm. Yeah, you can't wash Pandora's box. You can't drown out Pandora's box anymore. You gotta gotta go up in flames. Look at them in the water, in the Jordan. I'm telling you, somebody, somebody trying to... But anyway, because I feel like... I don't want to talk about... <laughs> I do feel like somebody here is... Pray for a second chance. And like I said, if it's not with you, divine feminine or divine masculine, somebody pray for a second chance at life. Because they feel like they ruined it in Pandora's box. They ruined it with somebody. And the only reason they have second a second chance because magic was involved here. The only reason that somebody is being allowed, male or female, they're being allowed to come out of Pandora's box is because they were tricked to go in there. Oh, didn't I say? It's like, this is a perfect time to come out of something and go into something else. This is the perfect time for people that were lured into Pandora's box to come out of it. This is, this is the, this right here, this is the time, you know, we got to be able to tell the times, right? We always, what did Jesus say to y'all? Y'all, y'all got all of this knowledge, all of this wisdom, y'all so darn smart, but y'all can't tell the times? That's crazy. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> So the, this right here is the time for you to come out of Pandora's box. We know that you were lured in there with lies. We know that you were lured in there. We know that you were you were enticed, you know, to go in, into, in, into Pandora's box. We know. Oh, man, these people are dirty because I'm telling you, they, they play on the human. They play on because the soul is inside of the human vessel. The, hum the, the car, as your car outside, it has its own makeup. It has its own thing. And then you, inside the car, you, ha you have your own thing too, right? So it's like this, this vehicle is housing. It's two things going on here. It's you and the vehicle going on. And the vehicle is like... It, it, it's, it's, the vehicle runs off of a program. The soul doesn't. So I feel like somebody, they, they entice the human vessel. And that's when the soul get all jacked. That's why they say, oh, you selling your soul. You're not selling your soul. You're giving ownership over. You're giving your, the, 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 what is it? The title to your car over. You're not selling your soul. You're giving the title to your car over. <laughs> it's like, you're, here, take my vehicle. You're, uh, you and the vehicle are no longer, you and the soul and the vehicle are no longer in alignment. Because when you when you give somebody else control of the vehicle, because the vehicle is already okay. How do I say this? It's like the vehicle already comes with its programming. It comes with some type of manual, but even the vehicle is being well. Now you know these cars they can run by themselves now, right? Mm -hmm. And all and all their technology they getting from us, all of this stuff, and then and everything that we getting is from is from them. Because when I went to the aquarium the other day. I was looking at all of these fish, pinstripe, you know, um, different designs, different patterns. I said, yeah, and then they come over here. Then they, then, then we get here. We and they put the patterns on the clothes and stuff like that, and they making money off of the over the fish suit. Get that fish that. Get that fish some of that. You know what I'm saying? Do anybody is anybody paying back the fish that take all these ideas from the fish? <laughs> Sorry, that made me mad because I'm about the, the, the aquarium. I was like, "Who paid this fish? This fish is in a cave. Everybody walking around with his design on, and and and, and nobody know that it's, it was a fish." People be like, "Oh, look what I designed! You ain't designed that. That 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 design is at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> now go to the water and and and, and pay homage." <laughs> okay. <sighs> Because art is inspired by nature. Yes. Artists know. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm looking at all these fish. 
like but the thing about it is people be making it it's like they make it seem like this is I don't know how to explain it because the artist because I understand because I do I get it because the artist is pulling off of pulling out of what's going on in their head but it's like ain't nothing new under the sun so you pulling something from your from heaven but it's really coming from the water G3, I'm too deep for my own self sometimes. Somebody, ooh. There is a liar in your energy. Somebody feel like you a liar. And it's because they have an ascendant. Keep your energy cleansed. People feel like you aren't who you say you are. That's because they have an ascendant. That's what I'm saying. I'm not for everybody, so if you don't understand, if you don't vibe with it, it's all good. So many beautiful tarot readers out here. And believe you me, I know them because I love them. I love, well, not hip, not well, but you know, it's something I really love. Grip, anchor, chain, weighed down, rigid, rigid games. I feel like somebody X is about to come into your energy. Somebody wants to talk to you. Somebody wants to come into, I feel like both of these people want to talk to you. But somebody from Pandora's box They want to hold on to something. They want to hold on to this masculine. Somebody is... Somebody is, is trying to get out of Pandora's box. But I feel like it's a, whatever they attach to or whoever they attach themselves to is making it very, very hard for them. Somebody wanted to weigh you down to a way... They wanted to have some type of grip over you. Somebody was telling lies on you to, to keep a grip on you. Yeah. Thank goodness you went to isolation, though. It was, it was a lot of people that was lying on you while you was in isolation, is what I'm hearing. The Earth Angel. They could have been lying about your money. Somebody was saying that you that you greedy. Somebody was going around. I feel, I'm picking. I'm picking up on a family member now. Some type of family member was going around saying that you you not sharing your money. This is why I don't know. I don't know how long I'm gonna be reading the energy like this, boy. I'll tell you that, cause it's like common sense is be tearing me up inside. It'd be tearing me up. Like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? So it's like a family member saying that you should be sharing. They feel like you should be sharing something with them or something like that. Like you hiding your money. Somebody feel like you, oh, somebody feel like you not coming around because you hiding it. You don't want to share your money. Why can't you don't want to come around because you just want to be in your energy. You want to be by yourself. You want to, you know, you just came back from a long spiritual battle and war. You just want to, you know, whew, relax and be to yourself. Why can't it be that? Why can't it just be what you want to enjoy the fruits of your labor? Nobody was with you shooting in the gym. Why can't it just be that? Why I gotta be, oh, you don't, you not being around me because you don't want to share your money. This is why I'm telling you, things are changing here because people's mindset are just all, it's like they're, they're not thinking clearly. These people are not thinking clearly. These are family members for, that, that feels like that you're not coming around because either you got a man yeah, somebody's like, you're not coming around because you got a man now. You're not sharing with us because you got a man or you got a woman now. Or I'm picking up on something like that. Somebody's like, oh, now you're changing. You don't want to be around us. You don't want to share with us. That's why you don't want to be around us because you just, you just don't want to share with us. But these people want to grip, have a grip on you, want to hold you down. These are, these are the people that's going to force you to share with them. I feel like you could be telling these people that you're busy and you could be busy. Focus on you. You can be busy doing your yoga. You can be busy minding your business. How are they going to tell you that you're not busy? <laughs> it's like, somebody like, oh, they fake busy. <laughs> no, you the earth angel. 
you, your fake business. You you mind your business. Get into get into whatever you what you need to be getting to. It's like these family members need to need to take note. It's probably what I know was there too. I'm seeing them paper. Yeah, take notes. Instead of be, instead of trying to get into your energy and spend your money, they need to be taking notes on how to on how to get a bag or something, or how to find themselves, or how to be righteous. Because that's what that's what the wealth is stored up for. <laughs> it's like why are they worried about your money? Worried about be, being righteous and you can have money. Money is an energy, a frequency. It's a vibration. You know what I'm saying? Look at it. Look at it. They're possessive. So they're, somebody is so worried about your finances here. And this could be shorty from, from, from the Pandora's box. Or however it goes. Somebody is just like so worried about your finances and worried about having some type of hold on you financially. Oh, you think that you're not going to share with me? Well, I'm going to force you to share with me. It's like somebody want to force themselves. Look, the fool. Somebody wants to get you to make some a foolish decision here. God bless you, baby. So, you're welcome. Somebody wants to get you to make a foolish decision here. So be mindful of contracts or somebody trying to get you to, yeah, they want you to make something fast, like a, a foolish decision very fast. And look what and look what it's going to do. If you make a foolish decision very fast, this is where you're going to be. Um, this is where, this is where procrastination is. I'm telling you, didn't I say? Sometimes you need to slow it down. Not be too fast. So I don't know what, whatever this is, a contract, somebody coming in, you're in, however it goes. Don't move too fast with whatever, it, with, with, with. I feel like this is a family member for real, though. Okay. I'm getting air sign. Um, earth sign here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Oh, my goodness. The Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Somebody don't want... Somebody wants to... They want you to make a fast decision and they want you to worry about your dreams. Like they want you to worry about something. Some, it's some type of game here. Who is this that's lying to my G3 family? Oh my goodness. It's an air sign. It's an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Or you could be this air sign. But I feel like it's somebody who is the seven of swords and the eight of swords. 78, 19, somebody could be born in 78 or 87. I feel like this was this was not planned out. Somebody planned something. Somebody tried to do something here, but they didn't have no they didn't plan it out good enough or something like that. Now the truth. Something about the truth have somebody in some type of mental prison. Somebody didn't whatever they planned did not work. Somebody planned something. Maybe they already tried to have you move fast. They already tried to have you do something, but they didn't it didn't work. Okay, yeah, the hermit, Virgo energy. This could be a Virgo, you could be a Virgo. This is somebody that I feel like you want, I'm telling you, you went within and it changed everything here. I feel like there's something about your energy that is very magnetic that when you pull it away from people, people have to come towards you. So I feel like, you know, this is a gift, it's a, a, a I guess a, a gift and a curse, being an earth angel, right? Because the, your energy, so... People that's, that are in Pandora's box that's not supposed to be there, your energy is going to pull them out. People that you want to leave you alone, your energy is going to pull them close to you. <laughs> Damn. It's like... Uh. Somebody can't play no game no more. 
They can't do something no more though. They can't work with you. Somebody wanted to work with you. This could be a workplace um, situation here. They can't work. They can't anymore though. Yeah, because you are the star. And God said that you're going to shine. Somebody was being petty with you. There's a family member that was being very petty with you. Or was people that was being very petty with you that can't come to, that can't, that can't, that can't. They just can't. They have to, they have to tell you the truth or something here. Or they have to be truthful and leave you alone. That's the only way people get out of your energy is when they learn the lesson. Oh, my, my, my. You know how long it takes people to learn a lesson sometimes? God darn. Who signs up for that? Us. <laughs> I don't remember signing up for that. But I feel like, yeah, something about your energy. People don't get out of your energy until they learn the lesson, especially people that you want to, want you to leave, want to, Especially people that you want to leave you alone, they can't. They will. They will not get out your energy until they learn their lesson. Until they learn their lesson, it's like they will keep bothering you. They'll keep doing. It's like they until they learn their lesson. That's when they. And once when people leave you alone, that's when you know that they learned their lesson. Because I feel like it's somebody that keep trying, trying trying to, to maybe even get in your energy. This could be, I'm, I'm picking up on a family member. They keep trying, trying, trying to do something to you. But that's because they haven't learned their lesson yet. Somebody's like, we come from the same family. Like, I'm a star too or something like that. Somebody, I don't know. I feel like, because I'm hearing blood ties. So somebody feels like y'all have blood ties. So maybe you shouldn't treat them like this because you have blood ties. But this is a very strategic. This is a very like shysty individual here. Yes. Yeah, we can't pick our family now. That's one, that's one thing we can't pick. Okay. So it just is what it is. Somebody here is, you know, they're a little shysty in the family. You know it. A little shysty. Seven of Swords, liar, deceiver, uh, cheater. Uh, they masquerade, act like something they not. Um, they switch up. You know, something. There's something about this this energy. They being blocked from you. It's crazy when family members gotta be blocked from you. Like, what type of, what type of world is this? Like, this is the world that we live in now, where you gotta you gotta protect yourself from family members. You gotta you really gotta protect yourself from family. That's crazy. You supposed to family supposed to love you. That's supposed to be your, you know, that when you when you need something, you you lean on your family. That's who you have. That's what. Well, these family members nowadays want to kill you. They want to destroy you. They want to do magic on you. They want to steal from you. They want to abuse you. They want to talk about you. Well, they've been talking about you. <laughs> but I'm saying, but you know what I'm saying? Like, like just back in the day, family members, yeah, maybe it used to be like a little crazy, but I feel like it was still, they still had that, like that, respect for for big for big mama they still had that respect they don't respect the big house they don't respect big mama anymore something like that so family is just not the same you know how like yeah like when a grandmother or the, or like the older person the matriarch of the family when they dies like everything just kind of and that's exactly what happened. Now the family ain't, ain't nothing. Strangers treat you better than your family. I'm living proof. Strangers love me, boy. 
<laughs> Family? She thinks she is. Uh, your way out. If you accept it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is this is like I'm picking up on a, a some type of family or family member or something like that. That's just they try to have some type of grip on you, or they tried to keep somebody wanted to keep you in Pandora's box with them. Maybe it's a family member that's in Pandora's box, but they want to tell. It's like somebody wants to right their wrongs. So it could be a lot of people. It's a lover here that wants to right their wrongs, or somebody from your past. It's a family member that wants to right their wrongs. Who else here? It's a neighbor. I'm, I'm, it's a neighbor that want to write their wrongs too. Oh, a housing, a housing manager, a housing. I'm seeing a housing. What is that? Is that a thing? Because that's what I'm hearing. A housing manager. Somebody can have beef with a housing manager or something like that. The landlord. Yeah, this is like a landlord or. Somebody from your past. This could be somebody that you used to live with or even a place that you used to live at. The people that you used to, like, it's like somebody, that, some, some, somewhere that you used to live, you got people that want to apologize for something. Remember that time when we was living together back in? This is like, yeah, people, because I feel like people feel like that's what's going to, if they tell you, if they tell you something, if they tell you the truth, then that's going to take the swords out of your back. I don't know. Like, if they tell you the truth, then that's what's going to fix something. These niggas stabbed, stabbed. This is 10 swords to the back. And they think that them coming back telling you one little apology, one little sorry, or one little truth is going to take out all of these swords. That's because they're used to seeing people with swords in their back looking like this. They never seen people with swords in their back still up, moving, talking, walking, enjoying life. <laughs> no stress, no pain, no issues. Happy. <laughs> they never seen people. They never seen somebody walk with swords in their back. Still getting to it. <laughs> Ten swords in their back. They're supposed to be dead. This is why they want to apologize. This is why they want to write their wrongs. Because they don't. Are you immortal? Yeah. What does that say? Anybody, any, any man who believeth in me shall not perish but have everlasting life. Yeah, they didn't know. They didn't know what everlasting life meant. <laughs> they didn't know that everlasting life meant that. Oh, what was that? I was just watching the Book of Clarence too. As the Book of Clarence is on Netflix. Barabbas. Oh man, I love stuff like that. Oh my goodness, my mind was going so many places. It was like food to the soul just watching that movie. But. When they was throwing the, 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 the swords at him, they was hitting him in the... They was like, oh, he dead. And he kept waking up, pulling it out. <laughs> like, I'm immortal. Try to tell him, I'm immortal. I don't die. And then he said, the only way can, that you can kill me is if you cut off my foot or stab me in the foot. Oh, my goodness. That, that movie was so good. Because I was like, oh, that's why they tried to hit me in the foot. That's why they tried to take me out with the foot thing. Oh... <laughs> oh no but I you know I'm not I don't know I'm just you know let my mind let my mind go but it made it made perfect sense <laughs> and then he said wrong foot mother effer oh y'all got the wrong foot <laughs> y'all put the cancer in the wrong foot they like damn let's get the other one out no too late <laughs> missed your time window you missed your window <laughs> somebody missed their window yeah they didn't know that somebody could still run and have life I have life more abundantly 
with the ten swords in their back. This is why they want to come and tell you. I was like, they want to come and tell you one little truth for ten swords, but that's because you're still alive and well. Them ten swords didn't affect you, so they think that. Oh, so they're like, ah. Oh. So I'll just tell them, you know. It's like somebody, I feel like people don't think that what they did to you was severe because of how you're handling it, because of how you're moving. You're not holding any grudges. You're, you know, you're still, you, I still believe in love. You still believe in love. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're still happy. You're still, you know, open to meeting people and living life. It's like somebody, it's like these people thought that if they put all these swords in, in your back that, you would need them to take the swords out. They didn't know that you was going to still be able to do the running man with, with swords in your back. So now they're trying to figure out how to make something your fault. Oh, they're, but they're not coming around because they don't want to give us their money. They don't want to share nothing with us. That's why they're not, they're not coming around. First of all, stop checking your pockets. Stop checking your pockets. They are not the light people. The only people that should be checking your pockets are them bill collectors. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so the only people that got right to, under, to be talking about what's going on in your pockets. So they already having conversations that have nothing to do with them, okay? But they're using that as an excuse to why you're not being around except for the truth, which is I tried to stab them in the back. I stabbed them in the back 10 times, but it didn't do nothing. So now I'm scared. Because I got a paper cut the other day and I was ready to go to the hospital. And they got 10 swords in their back. And they have not died yet. There are still, it's still life in them. Like, what is this about? They don't want to tell people that. How they try to betray you. They want to tell people that you just, that, that something, that you acting funny because you, because you got money now. You acting funny because you got money. First of all, how, who knows? Who said that you got money? Because I hope, please do not look over here at me and like, yo, she got money. Because, duh, duh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Don't let the don't don't let the devil lie to you like that, baby. They playing with you. They playing with your mind because they think don't run up in here thinking that you got oh you are you are hit big nah baby. <laughs> I'm still fighting with the with the you know with the light people and stuff like that. You know you stop it. So I hope nobody looking at me talking about some she not coming around because she got money. No, I'm not coming around because you low vibrational, you nasty and demonic. That's why I'm not coming around. <laughs> like like that's not that's why because you're envious and jealous. So people are trying to figure out why you're not coming around. They think, oh, because you got a man or you got money or you got this or you got that. No, it's because you got 10 swords in your back. Why would you go for an 11th? Why would you go for an 11th sword in your back? <laughs> like, make it make sense. You know the niggas that's been putting the swords in your back. So let me go get, a, let me go get an 11th. That's what I'm saying. These people are not common sense. Let me go. I've been over here for two hours talking about... Let me get let me get something good before I go. Let's close it out. What's happening here? What's gonna be the outcome for my G3 family? Because this is crazy. The emperor, yeah. <laughs> exactly. You got the emperor, an empire here. This is what you're focused on your empire. You're focused on, you know, building here, creating. I feel like you're gonna be. And then whoever this divine, this masculine is that's coming out that wants a second chance, whether, whether, like I said, whether you give somebody a second chance or not, or whether you, I feel like somebody wants to talk to you or something like that. Somebody wants to, I feel like somebody's going to come out of Pandora's box and get that second chance. I don't know if it's going to be with you. I feel like it's just at life. I'm, I'm picking up on life first before anything. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's with you or not, somebody's getting a second chance at life. Hopefully they take it. Um... But yeah, G3, the emperor here. You can be getting the emperor. I feel like you're... you're and that's the thing. There is... <laughs> oh, that's because you're getting some money. you getting some type of... you getting some type of abundance here. You're getting something. Some type of wealth. You're getting something. And I feel like these family members know it or these people know it. Somebody knows that you're getting something here. So they like, it's like they want you to juggle money here. It's a love situation here too. So somebody could be divine feminine, empress, you, you're getting your emperor. 
an emperor, you can get empress. What is the emperor that is going to get the empress? I don't know. What's going to happen with these family members? Because somebody's getting something. Oh, they're not, they, they get being left out. Nine of Cups in reverse. They're not getting no offers. They're not getting something. So the family, the family member, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like whoever this is, you about to bro somebody going to bro 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 crumb, bread crumb the family, like the family bread crumbed them. This is what I'm picking up on. I'm hearing the family bread crumbed you. So you about to bread crumb them because there is some type of finances here. And I, and I feel like you probably, you might not even have them or have your, have whatever blessing or something this is and somebody, and they're already calculating your blessings or something like that. That's what I'm saying. It's like people are, too obsessed. People are very obsessed with you. Family members. You have family members that are very obsessed. Can't stand this. What is this about? <laughs> like, what? Obsessed with what? Your progress. Your your money. This is it's annoying, boy. I'm telling you, it's like somebody somebody wants to hold you down. They want to have your money. This is all this is about. Somebody wants somebody in your family wants your money, but they don't want to do no work. They lazy. That's about. Yeah, they end like this night energy. It's like night, night, night. It's like something. Night, 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 night. Go night, night. They need, they need to go night, night. <laughs> it's about. It's not about night. Okay. You're not taking no offers from them, though. Be careful. Stay clear. Stay clear of, like, anything from anybody from your past, to be honest. Walk away from them. I feel like you already know what's up with these people. They smile in your face, and they talk about you behind your back. And they plot on you behind your back. Okay? Because of this throne, because of this position that you're that you're sitting in, or that you're that you're going to be sitting in, something that you're getting, some type of power that you have, it's like somebody, it's like people want to be connected to you because of this position right here, not because they love you, and you know that, so they want you to continue to walk away, okay? Continue to keep your back turned to the people that that want to give you fake love just so they can have some type of hold on you. This could be a family, a family, um, a friend here too, a friend that you call family. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody that's like a part of your tribe, or like somebody she was calling a part of your tribe, or something like that. At one point, continue to move forward. Everything in your past is playing games, and they're gonna get their their teeth knocked out. Okay, and that's how that's gonna go. So. Let me see what's happening with this masculine and whoever's coming out of this Pandora's box. What's going to be the income, for, the outcome for that? Stress. Something about their choices. I don't know. Somebody's going to have to make a choice. Somebody's going to have to blow up the box, bro. It's like if somebody wants to fully get out of Pandora's box and go towards what they what they want to do, to go towards celebration or celebrating with their divine feminine or however it goes, divine masculine. If somebody wants to come out of Pandora's box and celebrate on the right side, they're going to have to be strong. They're going to have to get rid of the box. They're going to have to, you know, it's like somebody cannot do. And if it's not like a child, somebody's paying for something that they probably don't even have to pay for. Or worried about something that they don't, they probably don't even have to worry about. But because somebody, somebody could be making them feel bad for, for trying to leave out of Pandora's box. So it's really, I'm telling you, whoever this is, it's, all, it's always up to you. Trust, trust your gut. The thing about it is you know that you got to get out of Pandora's box. So what are we even talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, why are we even doing this? Why are you even worried? Why are you even trying to con con stress yourself out? It's like, I do not stress myself out. I promise you, I do not stress, bro. I do not stress. Once something starts stressing me, I'm over it. I swear. Once I, it starts to make me think. If I got to think too hard, or th 
I've learned for what? I don't got to stress. I don't have to. So somebody here is maybe they're just too concerned about what people are going to think. They're too concerned about how, you know, I don't know what they're concerned about. Oh, how the other person is going to feel at that other person. They don't care about how you feel. This is why it's so easy for me to walk away. Because people don't care. They, people showed me that they did not care about how I felt. So what do I look like caring about how they feel? I don't care about how they feel. Go take that up with God. Go take that up with your ancestors. I don't care about how you feel about me doing what's best, what's, what's best for me. So this is somebody here. If you got to get out of Pandora's box, if that's the best thing for you to do, then that's what you're going to have to do. And they're going to have to just get figure it out. Stop allowing people to be your prison. We allow people to be our prison all the time and be trying to understand why we're not happy or why our life is going like this. Why are you allowing somebody to be your prison? At those people. I am not the one. Or the two or the three. I will walk away from any. I don't. I, I will. I will leave. I'm not dealing with anything that's beneath me. Anybody that's beneath me. Any situations that's beneath me. I'm over it. If you cannot rise to the occasion, you will not be anywhere near the Lemurian goddess. And that's facts. And this is the attitude that I need my G3 to be in for real. Do not be in my energy or be over here with, with my collective talking about some how I don't want to hurt their feelings. Get out of here because you ain't supposed to be over here. You are not supposed to be over here. You put somebody else's feelings before your feelings so you'll feel like crap and so they can feel okay. Nah, I don't want them people around me at all. No, nope. because you clearly don't know how to love yourself. You don't love you or those people. You thinking that you, you thinking that, oh, you're doing the right thing. This is love. No, you're showing that you don't love you or that person. I love you. That's why, that's why I'm over here and you over there. Because I love you. Because I love me. If I didn't know how to love me, I wouldn't know how to love you. I'll be in your energy. It'll be issues, problems, and we'll be just trying to work it out, figure it out. Oh, no, this is love is, this is love, this is family. Oh, no, we've been friends for so long. Oh, no, no, no. So they want you to stay there like this, fighting with them. Oh, this is love. This is love. Me being right where I'm at and you being right where you at. This is love. Okay? So please. Do not be over here if you do not know how to love yourself. Okay? Because we are telling people, ah. <laughs> I shit. I don't know. You know how about ah. <laughs> we've been kissing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what we're doing to them. Uh, uh. <laughs> GG. G3, do it with me. Uh, Y'all remember that one? <laughs> That's what you do to them, G3. That's what I <laughs> Anyway, G3, let me go. <laughs> That's going to be the G3 hand gesture. <laughs> Uh, I feel like I'm about to jump in the shower. I feel like I am like so wet. <laughs> I feel so nasty. <laughs> to the tip power. Come on. <laughs> to the tip power. Let me close out. Okay. Conclusions are within reach. All right. Something is closing out. I feel like G3, somebody going to make the right decision. They're going to say, uh, uh. All right, and that's what, and, and you know, and when you in that energy, come right, on, come right on over to G3. You know what I'm saying? Why are you over there with Diddy dancing the ass? Come over here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the death row. No. <laughs> you don't want them dancing on the stage while you're up there. You know what I'm saying? You want that real ass? Come over here to G3. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? It's a movement, baby. <laughs> and it is.
It is G Rap. I got so many beautiful things that's about to really happen, and I'm so grateful for my family, for my sisters, for you know, just the people that God is connecting me with. Like I'm just so grateful. When you in Herman mode for so long, you forget that you can be a friend too. Remember, you just be you. you said, yo, I've been by myself for so long that it's like I forgot that I like I can be a friend. Like I'm a good friend. <laughs> it's like I can have friends. <laughs> Everybody not gonna do me like how they did me before. <sighs> but let me not talk about that. People get real touchy. <laughs> I wish I would stop watching me. Leave me alone. Anyway. <laughs> You helped me along this disturbing journey. I'm so grateful. I truly am. I truly am. Thank you, Mother. Because I pray for my G3 family. I pray for all of you when I first started this. I pray for you guys. And this is why I'm so shocked. Like, it's going like this because I did not know. Mm, I can't wait. I feel like, you see how they have the book of clearance? I'm telling you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the, the book of jazz one day. It's going to be a movie. Watch. I don't know. I don't know. Because it's been too much. And G3, y'all gonna be in it too. Hello? Hello? <laughs> y'all gonna be in it too. <laughs> uh, you gonna be telling your kids, you're like, yeah, yeah, I should be there watching that live. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Okay. Because <laughs> when I start thinking like that, it, it give me anxiety. <laughs> and I don't like the stress. <laughs> it's like, hold on, that's a lot. <laughs> Until you learn this, people out here, you've been speaking directly to. I, listen, there's people that hit me up in the inbox and they be telling me, like, I feel like somebody was like, um, are you, like, reading my energy? Like, someone was in my head, like, are you reading my energy? Like, I'm pulling, like, cards on them. And it's like, I'm cracking up because I, I understand that. Because this is one, this is one video I listen to. And I'd be like, is there cameras in here or something? Like, why is she picking up on everything? This is weird. So I understand. I know, like, it's real. You can't tell me that this is not real. You can't tell me that anymore. You can't tell me it's demonic. You, you can't tell me it's evil. You can't tell me anything like that. This right here is the truth. And this is why they was burning up on them goddamn witches back in the day because they don't want this getting out of them. <laughs> they don't want this getting out Imagine if I had this a couple years ago. I would have been making better decisions. You know, I would have been making better decisions. But then Mackenzie probably wouldn't have been here. You know what I'm saying? So everything happened in divine time. How I'm supposed to. <laughs> it's real. It's so real. It's too real. <laughs> it's the realest of the real. <laughs> it's the realest of the real. This life is literally the best shit ever. Sis. I swear, I wish I I, I wish I, I would have had it earlier. Like now, I'm, I'm looking at my daughter. I'm like, yo, I'm a, I can't wait to see like how she grows because now it's like, okay, ain't no ain't no lies, and we in the energy. And the thing about it is, I be forgetting that I know the truth because <laughs> I be looking at her. And sometimes she be trying to she tried to like today she tried to get something out the fridge and I I knew she tried to sneak it. So I, I didn't see what she was getting. So she sat at the table. She's like, like she's trying to get some, some more. And I'm sitting there, I'm in the bathroom fixing my head. I'm like, Mackenzie, is that the, is that the you know, blah, 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 blah. Huh? What happened? Yeah, yeah. Now she's now she not, you know, now she's just showing. I said, why was you trying to hide that from me? I wasn't trying to hide nothing. I said, you was trying to hide something. And I knew, and I know you trying to hide something from me. But, but I wasn't, I wasn't trying to hide nothing, mommy. I, you're lying to me, and I don't like liars. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I be so, I be forgetting that I can feel the energy. Is there any other mothers out there like that? It's like, don't you know how kids they they go to lie? They do those, they tell you those white lies.